you can see everybody so how to install microsoft sql server management studio once the software is downloaded 64 bit what will do just double click that so the software yeah hold a second sometimes it will take a maybe 10 15 second maybe it's a, a one minute so you will think okay nothing is going to work but one pop up box will come now okay it is running uh, background the software is running actually it will take few seconds any pop up box came yeah it came yes uh, don't do anything can you see the screen everybody if you see here it is showing which location suppose in case in future you want to not to store in your c drive or any other drive you can browse and change but you don't require to change anything because it can be so error at the time of final installation but as it is don't change anything oh hold hold click ok next step is click ok 2014 version you can download 2018, 19, 21 version or 2008 version also it will work. Almost uh, it will be same. So based on your laptop compatibility, my suggestion always mid, mid version you can uh, prefer so that it can be compatible to your laptop. Okay, don't do anything. It is coming the screen. Okay, uh, make it a full screen, Radip. Okay, uh, as you see, everybody can you see the screen here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's two options. No, uh, first listen. We'll do later. There's two options. One is a new SQL Server standalone upgrade. Upgrade from where? Two thousand five eight. 8 and 12 version you can suppose you have old one 2005 version 2018 or 12 you want to upgrade to 2014 or upgrade to any version even you can install any version the notification will come that that option i will choose after next step automatical notification come uh, you can update any time in future okay so now by default we we'll all need to select the first option Click the first option, Radip. Okay. Here, if you see here, accept license and second term uh, notification, you can choose either uh, first is mandatory, second is optional. You can choose both. Of second term condition here. Second one also, you can say no problem. Next. Checking the software compatibility, okay, whether your laptop is fit for not to install. Yes, it is fit. So it is came to next step. Click the next. Don't change anything, nothing, only next. No, I'm checking the installation path. Ah, ah, no, no, fine, fine. Later we can do, okay. Hold it. Yes. So this is a one common error. This is a very common error you will find everywhere. Any laptop, even a new laptop also, you will find a common error. That is called which error? Microsoft.NET Framework 3.2, including service pack. This software already, I said you uh, ready to everybody in that group. What you can do? Uh, just hold a second, hold a second. There's a very small software, I think 10 to 12 MB software. Before going to next, don't cancel here. Don't do anything. Sir. What we'll do, we'll download that 10 MB software that is called .NET Framework. We'll download, install the first, the small one. Mostly it will be at the time of Microsoft uh, Windows point of view, a software is required. So you can, uh, just a minute, uh, can you click that link? Yeah. So download .NET Framework software. What you can do, instead of for that, some people will get confused and go to Google search. Just put Google there. 
no no go direct uh, go to google yeah i mean google only no no no, no. that is true direct uh, yeah click the first page no no here yeah yes type there dot net framework type there dot net framework uh, go to the error go to the error that software okay. microsoft database click the microsoft one yes the read the error microsoft dot net framework type exact yeah exactly type Okay. And I select okay, no, it will come. Dot net framework. Three point five. Uh, one second. Yes. Microsoft dot .net. net dot net framework. framework. Three point five. Five. Including what is that? Service pack. Oh, no, service pack. Okay, click the first option. It's fine, fine. Select the first one. Go, go down. Select. It will be very small software, I think. Already done. See, double click that one. No, no, no. Don't do anything. Go there, click there. Yes, yeah, just to click. Go, go to download file. Uh, this is the one. <clears throat> yeah, double click. Mute mic. Yeah, just to hold a second. Uh, there's two options. Keep this installation or download. You have to select first one. It will take few seconds to... It will take few seconds. Sometimes based on the internet, it will take more time also, but hardly take two minutes or five minutes. This is a very common error. Most of laptop, you will find this a common error. Even a new laptop also or a old laptop, it will ask to install .NET framework software. Just to hold a second, it's downloading the feature. It will take another few seconds, maybe. Yes. Close this one. Might need to restart the app. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'll tell you. Go I'll to close the, it. Yeah, close it. Go to the uh, database, second option. Uh, make a full screen. Full screen. Yeah, that restart option, even uh, without restart also, some laptop will work. But uh, most of time it will tell, uh, tell you to restart the software. What will do? Read on it. Yes, congratulations. Your software, your database is ready. Go next. Here, one option, everybody always, you know, people face the challenges. Disable option is there, make it automatic or my, uh, select that last one. Everything as it is, but automatic. Go next.
Okay, go next. Go next. Yes. So almost your uh, software is done. It will take a last uh, part. It will take maybe some laptop rate like two minutes, some laptop will take 10 minutes. So depends. Um, I think your laptop will take my hardly two to five minutes maximum. Uh, we'll wait for that. So uh, sir, don't we have any option to uh... the screen here? Once that software installation done, you go to search bar, type there SQL. Okay, very good. As you see the screen, it is showing SQL Server Management Studio. Instead of a direct click, do one thing. Just go to go to that left side, left one. Yeah, right click, just right click. Uh, pin to click the la last, la yeah, pin to taskbar. Yes, why taskbar? Instead of a, uh, you know, hold a second. Instead of a, every time searching and, uh, you know, uh, opening the software, next time you don't require to go to search bar. Direct the, the Humber symbol is there. That Microsoft uh, symbol is there. Click that one. Yes. It will take initially few seconds as the first time you are opening. As you show, congratulations, Rohit. Your software is installation done. Okay, it will take few seconds. First time you are opening. Okay. So it will take a few seconds. Next time it will not uh, take much time, but uh, yeah, it will take a few seconds. Yes. So now as you see, as you, as you discuss, Microsoft, you need to connect to server. Click the connect. Don't change anything. Don't try to anything, but connect to server. So the new query option is there, left side, or in top of, yeah, in top, new query option is there, new query. Yes, click that one. Type there, create a database. Create database. Database name is data again space data mm -hmm. a single word single word data again is single word semicolon and semicolon select the, the entire line one single colon why you double one give one only select the data select the execute option is the red color yes so go to the master database the drop down list is the left side up 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 drop down master little bit up red color execute uh, yeah yes as you should select the data again so your database is working perfectly your installation done completely congratulations Roy, and those who thank also you. installed thank you sir. 